Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a tablet protector case. I will be going traveling soon so I wanted a place where I could put my device as well as the charging cord. So all the measurements for this will be at the blog post which will be at Charm by Ashley. Links will be down below as well as the information icon. So you can go over there, get all the measurements and cut out all your pieces and then meet me back here. So we will have three pieces as the outer fabrics. So I am using a different color just for contrasting. And then we will have two for the front pocket lining and then two for the actual tablet lining. And I am going to be using a fleece just so it's a little bit softer on the device. So the first thing I'm going to do is put fusible fleece on the backs of all my front pieces. That will be what helps protect your device. So if you wanted to use a quilt batting or double layer it, if you want to protect your case a little bit more, you can put as much as you want or as little as you want. But I'm just going to be doing one layer and I think that is fine for my device. So once you're done that, then we can grab our zippers and get those ready to go. But first, before I install my zippers, I'm actually going to quilt the front of the bag. So you can do that if you like, you don't have to, but I just thought it added a little bit of an extra, uh, like je ne sais quoi, I don't know, just adorable. I love when anything's quilted. So I did that to the front and now I'm going to work on installing that zipper into the front pouch. So you're gonna grab the four pieces, the two front ones, and then the two lining for the front pouch. The two lining pieces will have different measurements and you're going to start with the bottom of the front pouch and then this, the piece that is the exact same size as that one, if that makes sense. So the larger piece is going to be with this, the short small one and I'm going to put the zipper on top of the outer fabric with the zipper pull down and then put the lining fabric on top with the right size down and then we will sew along the zipper to install it <laughs> and then we will flip it right sides out and we will do a top stitch and I like to up my um, stitch length up to a three when I do my top stitches just because I think it looks a little bit nicer. So once you have half of your zipper installed, then you're going to work on the other half. So you can get your little piece, the top piece, place that on top. So the zipper pull is up right now. I'm going to flip it upside down and then I'll put the large lining piece on top of that. Now you'll see why very shortly why the other lining piece is so large, but I'm just going to go ahead and install the second half of the zipper. So again, I'm just going to sew along the zipper. I like to use a zipper foot when I do this. It gets nice and close and you don't want to of course go over the zipper teeth. You just want to get right up nice and close and then I'll flip it with the right sides out and then do again a top stitch. So after that, then you can lay your piece on your table and then you can take that large lining piece and we're gonna tuck that down and we'll line up the bottom edge of that piece with the bottom edge of the other lining. And then that will be the pocket. So that is how it will look once it's all sewn. Now we're gonna work on doing the top zipper. So just like before, we're going to put the zipper pull down on top and then sandwich it with our lining. And this is my fleece lining, or not fleece. You could use fleece. This is the flannel lining. And then I'm going to, again, sew in nice and close to the zipper teeth and then flip it with the right sides out and do the top stitch. Oh, I almost fell there. <laughs> And then we will again do the last half of the zipper and we're going to take the back piece of the outer fabric, lay that on top. 
So make sure that the zipper pull is towards the outer fabric. And then we'll put the last piece of lining and then we'll finish installing the other half of the zipper. So I hope you're enjoying this tutorial so far. If you are, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more tutorials and follow me on my social media, which is Instagram and Facebook. So if you guys ever make any of my tutorials, I would love to see them. Okay, so now that our zippers are installed, we're gonna lay it flat on the table with the right sides of the outer fabric together and the right sides of the lining together. And then we will sew all the way around, leaving a four inch gap in the lining. So I'm gonna start in the middle of the lining and I'm gonna go down and then up the one side. And when I get to the zipper, I am going to pinch the zipper so that the zipper teeth is facing the outer fabric and the bottom is lined up together. So it's gonna be kind of awkward at first, but you want your zipper to be like on its side so that you don't end up putting it in crooked. And then when you get around to this side, you're going to make sure you have your zipper open and then just pinch the zipper so that you can make sure it's nice and close together when you sew over top of it, the, the teeth that is. And then we will open the zipper inside. If you didn't open it too much, then this might be difficult. So I do recommend opening it a fair bit and then it won't be difficult to, you know, you have to open the zipper with it inside out. Um, and then after that, then you can flip it right size out through the hole that you left in the lining. And then you can just flatten it out and, you know, push that zipper out and make sure it is nice and all the corners are poked out and everything. And then we're just going to sew up that little hole that was in the lining and then we're done. So now you can store your devices in a safe place, especially if you're, you know, traveling or you just, you know, you just want one. And so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one.